Ah, uh, this is Apostle Charlie Reddish, ready to feed the lambs and the sheep with the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing <coughs> and hearing the word of God. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Today we will be reading from the book of John, chapter 7 and chapter 8. So get your Bibles, your iPads, your, your iPhones, whatever means you have of listening to the reading of the word of the Lord, and we will get started. The table is prepared, waiting for you to come and feast and eat, strengthen your spiritual walk with God. In the, I'll be reading from the book of John, <clears throat> chapter 7 and chapters 8 today. So join in with me. Please feel free to share, like, and place on any platform that you're using. Good morning, Sharon. Chapter 7, verse 1. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world, for neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up into this feast, and go not up yet unto his feast, for my time is not yet fulfilled. To come. When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, they went, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews saw them at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man, others said, Nay, but he deceiveth the people. Albeit no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters? Having never learned. And Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man would do his will, he should know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil. Who goeth about to kill thee? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and you all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision. Not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And you on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you angry at me because I made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then say some of them of Jerusalem, Is this not he whom they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. But the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ. How be it, we know this man whence he is. But when Christ cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. And I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him. For I am from him, and he has sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him, 
because his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him and said, when Christ cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man doeth? The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then say Jesus unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. Then say the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go into a dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What man of saying is this that he saith? Ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, thither ye cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of water. But this spake he of the Spirit which they that believe on him shall receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, of a truth, this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Has not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? So there was a division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees. And they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officers answered, Never man spake like this man. Then answered them the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? But this people who knoweth not the law are cursed. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to buy Jesus by night, being one of them, does our Lord judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, Or thou also of Galilee, search and look, for out of Galilee arises no prophet. And every man went into his own house. The book of John, chapter 8, commencing at Verse 1, Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them, and the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery, in the very act, now Moses in the law commanded us, that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his fingers, wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, A woman, where are those dying accusers? Has no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee, condemn thee, go and sin no more. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Do I bear record of myself? Yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go, but ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bears witness of myself, 
and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said thee unto him, Where is thy father? And Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These words spake Jesus in his treasury, as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then say the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he says, whither I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, you're from beneath, I'm from above. You're of this world, I'm not of this world. I say therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he, and I do nothing of myself, but as many as, but as my father has taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The father has not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then say Jesus, those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered them, we be Abraham's seed, and we're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? And Jesus answered them, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. And Jesus said unto them, If you are Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. And Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. You of your father the devil. In the lust of your father you do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh it of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto them, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and has a devil? And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and you do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my seed, he shall never see death. Then say the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, If a man keep my seed, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? And Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honors me, of whom you say he that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him. 
but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him and keep his sayings. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Thus I've read the book of John, chapter 7 and chapter 8. I pray that the word fall, fell on the good ground of your heart and something was heard by you that benefits you today. The word of God tells us faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I pray that your faith was increased to another level. And let's keep tuning in and listening at God's word and the word of God prepare you for today. I pray that your spirit was filled with God's word, that you were strengthened with all might in your inner man by the word of the Lord that you've heard today. Thank you, each and every one of you, for tuning in. Appreciate you so much. Always feel free to invite others. Always feel free to share this video on any platform that you may be on. And if you want to see these broadcasts a little later on and somebody else want to uh, view, just recommend them to go to YouTube, Life Changes Covenant Ministries. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and the notification bell. And you'll be notified in and every time that we come on the air. There might be somebody out here that wants to change their lives. You want to see a change in your life. We're coming almost to the end of the year and you're tired of going in the direction you've been going. It seems like your life has been a, a merry-go-round, the same thing over and over and over. Well, Christ is here and he wants to change the direction of your life. He want to make it better. He want to deliver you from bitter to better and from weakness to strength. And uh, all you have to do is just repeat this prayer with me and Christ will come into your life and change your entire life and turn it around for you if you believe. So just repeat this with me if you want to see change take place in your life. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge I am a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross, gave his life that I can have life, and that more abundantly. And dear Lord Jesus, I open the door to my heart and I invite you into my heart, sit upon the throne of my heart, rule and reign in my life from this day forward and forevermore. I thank you and I receive you now as my Lord, my master, my soon coming King. And I thank you for saving me. I bless you, Lord Jesus, for coming into my heart and turning my entire life around and making it better than it's ever been before. I believe and I receive now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So if you just say that little prayer right there and meant it from the from your heart, believing what you said, you are a born again believer. Amen. You have just stepped out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's light. And I recommend you to please start attending the church. And the best church that I can think of is Life Changes Covenant Ministries, 2140 Eleanor Drive, North Charleston, South Carolina. We are there live in live services every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And until the next time, I want all of you to know that I love you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And may God richly bless you is my prayers. And don't you ever forget this. Don't call it the way you see it. Call it the way you want it to be. God bless you.